general information about the Great Old Build System. Hello everyone, I want to give you some information about the Great Old Build System in this particular video. And uh, before we start, I, I want to show you some Great Old Files in Android Studio. So let's move on to Android Studio. Oh, oh, I should add some reverb in there. Okay, so you can see the Gradle files on the left side here, and there are two important Gradle files for us, and that's level here. So uh, these are build.gradle project. It's my first application file, and build.gradle module app file. Now, before we, uh, you know, really get in depth about these files, I do want to say something about Gradle. You're going Gradle. Mm hmm. Gradle is a build system that automates the build of Android application development. Uh, Gradle makes testing and building, debugging, releasing much easier. Gradle also makes adding new libraries into our project in Android Studio a whole lot easier as well. So here's the first page. It's my first application page. It's the version of the Gradle system. Now, the most important page for us uh, now is what build Gradle module app page. So this page is application, it's features, and you can see some of the values in here. I want to explain these values and what they mean. So the first one is compile SDK version. So this value determines which API level features we can use. For example, if this value is 25, we will not be able to use API 30 level features. If this API level is higher, then our application will have more advanced features, right? So if this API level is higher, then our application will also have more advanced features of higher API levels. Now, the second one is the application ID. This is a unique value. So for this application, it is com.example.myfirstapplication. Now, when we upload this application on Google Play, it will be known with this particular ID by Google Play. And the third one here is min SDK version. So this value determines which API level and above can work in our application. So it's a lower value, so it's a minimum value for this application. It is 22, and that means that this application will not work below API level 21, right? Now, the other one is the target SDK version. This value indicates that my application will work well at this API level in particular. Now, we should give the minimum SDK value as mm, small as possible and the compile SDK as big as possible, right? And also the compile and target SDK should be the same value. That's what I recommend and I'm sticking to it. Now, another value is the version code. And you're going to use this code when you publish your application on Google Play. It has to be an integer value, like one, two, three, and it continues on and on. Now, after you publish your application on Google Play, if, if you change something in your app and you want to upload your new version, you must increase this value. Otherwise, Google Play will not accept your new version of your application. And wouldn't that be a shame? So the version name is when people want to update the app on their phone and they see this value. This is unimportant for Google Play, but people will see this value. It can be 1.0, 1.1, and continues on and on. And when you update your app, you should give the new version name for the people who will download your app. And then when you change some value in Gradle, you will now see a sync button. And after you click this button, it will change everything or synchronize everything to the new values. 
And then lastly, uh, should tell you about dependencies. Um, so this is the part in Gradle that is reserved for libraries. And if you want to add a new library to your project, you will begin here. Android Studio and Gradle make it very easy to add new libraries, as I told you before. Um, now, before Android Studio wasn't like this. It wasn't so easy. But now you just add library code dependencies um, in this section and then click the Sync Now button. I won't even tell you about the history, but uh, just, just um, remember that everything in your library will be added to your project automatically. All right? So I think this is about enough uh, with Gradle, because this is not a Gradle course. I want to thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Or you'll see me. No, you'll see we're going to do a lot in our next video, so let's just get to it.